Hey everyone, Anna here. I just wanted to stop in real quick and share with you my half Halloween journal. April marks the halfway point until we get to Halloween. And um, I'm doing this swap in the um, alternative junk journals group. And so I'm just here to, to share what I've done. I'm not really that like spooky, scary type of Halloween decorator. So mine's a little bit more kind of fun and cutesy. And I've had this fabric for a little while. And I absolutely love <laughs> these witches. And I knew I wanted to use this fabric. So it is fabric covered inside and out. And it's got batting in the middle. It's soft cover. Um, it's definitely bigger than the the minimum of what the dimensions were supposed to be I can't remember for sure but I want to say it might be like 10 by 7 something like that and then I just did um this tassel here this is my little nod of of something sparkly this is from one of my old necklaces that I kind of took apart and it's just attached with a bulb pin there. I don't know if you can tell. And it just has some different ribbons and trims and fun stuff. And then a little um, spider web brad right there. And the closure is a lace tie closure here that is attached um, um, from the covers. And then the inside, I will take you into. I've got a little front pocket over here with some fun little goodies. And then there's some, um, just a piece of fabric that I attached. This was um, just, uh, I fussy cutted a piece, fussy cutted, fussy cut a piece of just this this um, illustration from a piece of fabric and attached it and then made it into this this little this little tuck spot right there lots of different papers did some stamping uh, this is actually kool-aid dyed paper that I did music sheet um, this is a vintage Halloween treat bag and then just some more goodies attached. Uh, there's a doily that I sewed and made a pocket. And then lots of, you know, journaling spots in there or to put whatever you want. Another piece of my Kool-Aid dyed um, paper. And then some washi. This is wrapping paper book paper, another stamping, and then I added some trims to these holes. This is actually um, a fabric sample from a fabric book. And I just made another like, little tuck spot here with some fun goodies. There's another fortune in here. <laughs> um, a little sticker there. This is actually a piece of um, dryer sheet that I dyed. Some washi up here. I also uh, rounded the corners of most of the paper too. I just like the way that it looks. This is a piece of handmade um, fabric. And this is my middle spot. This is a coffee filter I dyed and then a pumpkin doily. And then with the strings, I attached this these witch hat hats together and dangles. Stamping. I made a little belly band here. Um, and then made that little journaling card What's that 
handmade fabric or paper. A part of that coffee filter. This is actually a postcard from 1969. A journaling card. It's a piece of fabric, but it just flips up. other side of that um, that hanky Some more washi I didn't want to do a ton of embellishments just because I wanted my person to be able this is fabric right here to be able to kind of decorate how they wanted to and from sewing this piece of fabric I left the strings and fussy cut out this um, cauldron and then stars and attached it so it's like a little dangle it's for stamping then there's that and then I made this my little my little signature card there so that's the journal and I hope that whoever my partner is that they really love it and then besides the journal, I also have this extra goodie bag that I will be sending with too. And it's got this bag is like all full of little things and it's got different trims and ribbons and stuff. And then some puff stickers. So hopefully they like it. So yeah, thanks for watching my half Halloween Um junk journal for the alternative junk journal swap group.